Sometimes it takes a team approach to solve complex problems. That's part of Mississippi's Office for Homeland Security's role statewide. WCBI Stephen Pimpo talks with the executive director today about Homeland Security and how it can help make Columbus safer. He's in the studio with that report. Stephen. Joey, just one day after the town hall meeting hosted by the Columbus Crime Prevention Task Force, plans are moving forward with a summary of the big picture. And that will help Homeland Security determine what kind of and how much help they can offer. That is where Laura Hunter, executive director for Mississippi's Office for Homeland Security, says things stand in terms of their commitment to helping stop violent crime in Columbus. Back in March, Hunter was part of the team that sat down with Columbus police and members of the city's crime prevention task force to develop a plan on addressing the rising crime rate. We discussed the status of affairs in Columbus and what can Homeland Security do to, to promote public safety within this community and help support city officials and law enforcement. Hunter says they offered the full array of training and funding available through Homeland Security to aid Columbus police. Chief Fred Shelton says that meeting led them to develop a three-pronged plan which involves incorporating that training and applying for those grants. Since then, the Crime Prevention Task Force has been putting together a report on crime in the city. We've been compiling data and information on what kind of the types of crime we've been having, what time of night or day they've been having. Once the task force has compiled their report, Chief Shelton says they'll meet with Homeland Security again to discuss their specific needs. Hunter says that is exactly the kind of information they rely on local leaders to provide. City leaders know the posture of the city better than anyone. You know, we're centrally located in Jackson. We can't speak to the crime issue in Columbus better than those that are here. Especially since there's only so much federal funding available. There are cities postured just like Columbus throughout the state, and we really have to triage where are we being the best stewards of our money and allocating these funds. Chief Shelton says the public feedback they got from Monday night's town hall meeting is one of the final pieces they needed before meeting again with Homeland Security. We want to get some statistical data before we deal with them and we're at that point and I'm going to get with our Supervisor Brooks and we're going to reach out to them and have another meeting and we're going to sit down and say, okay, these are our needs. How can you help us? Chief Shelton said that last week they've also talked with ATF about focused federal enforcement assistance. He said they don't have a specific time yet set up for their meeting with Homeland Security.